Welcome, 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 everybody. Good to see you all here today. We are going to talk about getting your leads from social media and actually converting them. This is a really good topic. I'm excited about it. Today was a super productive day for me. I have been working from home. So I've changed my schedule to be working from home on Mondays and it's working. I've been like doing super productive. I have recorded two podcasts already this morning because I was behind a little bit. So uh, throughout the holidays, I was like, you know, not in, in, in advance as I was usually. So now I am, I caught up with my podcast. I have done my scheduling of my podcast. I have done my list of things that I needed to do and I put them all into my calendar. I am on fire, people, let me tell you. And here I am doing my business shortcut with you guys. And then I've got back to back today, 11.30, I've got my beautiful established senior group. And then today, this afternoon, I have my abundance group as well, doing some coaching on mindset. So really exciting day. Monday is my favorite day. And I find that when I'm productive on Monday, then the whole week is totally different. I am just loving this. So here we go. Let's get started. So today we're talking about getting leads from social media and convert them. A lot of people are asking me, Francesca, how do I do that? Okay, let's talk about it. So listen, first and foremost, you need to get clarity around what's a lead. A lot of people think that a lead is just someone that pay you a lot of money. And I'm like, oh, no, that's a client. A lead um, is a potential client. A lead is someone that potentially they might work with you. So to get yourself a client, you need to get them when they are a lead. So then you can actually warm them up, right? So a lead is someone that gives you maybe the email, right? Someone that gives you an email is now a lead. Now there is different levels of leads, but that is a lead. Someone that maybe jump onto your webinar or onto your live, like you guys watching now are potential leads, right? A potential client. So I am here talking to my leads every single week. And also, hi, Jessica. Hi, Kim. Good to see you guys. So someone that comes to your workshop is a lead. Now, these are different type of leads. There is a cold lead, a warm lead, and a hot lead. Hi, Bake Baker. How are you? Good to see you here. Okay. So when you know now there's three different levels of leads, you are going to have to have a strategy for every different lead. So if someone is a cold lead, you're not gonna say, hey, join my $25,000 program. I know you're ready because they're not, <laughs> they're not ready. So don't talk about the programs. It's like when you go on a first date, you don't wanna talk about marriage. Well, I don't know, I don't know about that. Probably I shouldn't talk about dating because I'm not that good at it. <laughs> I think you guys know by now. I shouldn't be teaching or coaching people around dating legit because it's not happening. I have so many leads. I haven't known how to nurture all of them. There we go. There we go, Jessica. The first problem a lot of people is that they don't know how to get leads. And then when you get the leads, you need to make sure that you nurture them. You need to make sure that you actually are following through. So one of the things that I'm doing right now is that I'm warming my leads, right, Jessica? So you are a client and you're jumping on this and I'm on top of mind. I've been so consistent, right? I am right here every single Monday giving free value. That free value will get some people to say, oh my gosh, every time that I watch Francesca, I learn something new. I am enjoying what she teaches. So maybe I should do more, right? Maybe I should be um, uh, joining her program or joining her workshops or buying her Facebook Marketing Mastery, whatever that is, it starts to go through your brain, right? So we have different leads. We have a cold lead, warm lead, and hot leads. What I suggest that you do, guys, you write down, you sit down, and you write down your plan of what are you going to do to warm up a cold lead. When I say warm up a cold lead, doesn't mean that you're going to get them from cold to a client, right? You're going to go from cold to warm, from warm to hot, right? So for me... 
a cold lead can be someone that doesn't read one of my posts, right? So when I'm writing my posts, I'm talking to my cold leads. When I do a Facebook Live, I'm talking to my cold leads. When I do a webinar, I'm definitely talking to my cold leads. So my language is going to be appropriate to the people that I'm talking to, right? When people are warm, then I can talk a little bit deeper i can i can be more specific i can offer start to offer some things but to a cold lead you don't want to offer more than sign up here for my email right so you want to be or sign here for my free course or from my free webinars or anything like that only boy Ali, only all boy is in trouble he knows that he's not allowed to lick his feet all the time because he gets infection and he does it it's <laughs> looking and going did i get corded yes you have you guys can see him, Oliver. There we go, it stopped. Okay, so you want to talk to your different leads, right, in a different way. The problem is, is that sometimes we are impatient. As business owners, we go, I want things done yesterday. <laughs> I want people to sign up to my program now, straight away, let's go. It doesn't work that way, right? So you need to warm them up. You need to make sure that you talk to them in a different way. Now. Now we've got that clarity. What does it mean converting a lead? It's getting a yes. Whatever it is that you're asking them. It could be like the phone number or an email or getting a ticket to your, to your workshop or others will be to your webinar. So getting a conversion doesn't mean getting a client, right? It means get them to say yes to whatever it is that you're offering. And depending on where they are, if they're cold, warm, or hot, the conversion will be different. So, for example, if they are cold, a, a conversion would be they give you the emails. Yes, you're celebrating that. If they're warm, a conversion will be they signed up to your $97 workshop or program, right? From a warm to hot, from hot, a conversion is the now a client, right? The now a client, the now sign up to your $2,000 program, $30,000 program, whatever there is, the now a client, right? So that's how we measure the conversion. Now, should you be using social media to convert? Uh, yes, if, if you're a business owner, then you want to stop relying on referral, right? If you got enough of referral, I've done this for years, I need to find other ways to get clients, then you need to start to use social media to convert. If you're ready to get more than one-on-one -on -one through post, right? More than getting just clients, one-on-one, -on -one, you don't need to start going one to many. If you're ready to get to the next level of your business, if you are ready to grow your social media following, then it's time for you to step up and start to use social media for you to know that you're going to warm people up and convert them. Now, it's not going to happen overnight. It's not going to happen straight away, right? It's going to take a little bit of time. It's going to take a little bit of momentum for you to do that. So if you start warming your leads now, it might take a couple of months for you to actually start to convert them, okay? So why should you need to use social media? Why can you not do other ways? Well, it's free. Social media, right now, we have our phones availability to actually get on people's bedrooms, people's sofas, people's houses without having to pay. This is priceless. We never had this opportunity in years. Now we do, let's go. Right Before we had to go and knock on people's doors to get in their houses. Now, all we need to do is to pick up our phone and go live. So yeah, we want to use social media. If you want to be seen, if you if you understand that it's the fastest way to be seen of, of, from people, your network will equal your net worth. So if you are consistent, listen, you're not going to be able to convert people if you're not consistent. We need to get you consistent. We need to get you posting daily. We need, and I know that there is people out there they tell you BSs and tell you that you don't have to, that you don't have to work this hard, that you don't have to show up consistently, that you can just do it in an easier way. It's not true. Even if you decide not to do your marketing organic and you decide to do a paid advertising, even then you have to do videos. You have to record um, value videos. You have to consistently come up with new content for people to be able to go and watch you and then decide yes or no. If you don't do that, regardless if you're organic or, or paid advertising, it's the same. You have to show up. <laughs> you have to record. You have to post. 
So if you use social media and you don't convert, listen, if you don't convert clients from your social media, your worst case scenario is that you grow your database. And that is a good problem to have. Listen, even if you don't get clients straight away, you might take a little bit longer, but you're definitely going to grow your database. If you follow the strategy properly, if you start to get people, give people some PDF or give people some free advice or invite them to your webinar, you're going to start to grow your database, start to get those people into your database. That's when then you're going to have a strategy on how to nurture your database. That is a next level, right? Then you're going to have different emails so depending on what level they are of warm, cold, or hot leads. Now, you want to use your database or your audience or your social media to test and measure and understand your audience, understand what works, what doesn't work. A lot of people think that marketing is like a magic wound and then you go, here, do what I tell you to do, and da -da, it won't work. It's not like that, unfortunately. No expert whatsoever can tell you what works for your audience. It's going to be different for every audience. So the reality is you're going to have to test, you're going to have to measure, you're going to have to tweak, you're going to have to try, which means you're going to have to fail to be able to see what works, what doesn't work. So yes, experts, we can give you advice, we can give you, you know, shortcuts, but you still need to go and test it. And some of you will have great success at the first go. Some of you will take three or four goals. Some of you will take six or seven. It really depends on how much you know your audience. So where can you convert? Well, you can convert from anywhere, from your personal profile, from Facebook groups, from Facebook lives, from your business page, from um, podcasts, from a webinar, from a workshop. There's all sort of ways to convert. But the thing is, if you don't offer, then nobody's going to say yes. So you need to come up with different offers. And that's when we go back to the first thing that I said today is you need to have different plans for different people, depending on where they're at. Now, how do you convert? Using your social media to grow your following and get leads to come to you, right? So you want to use your social media to at least get people to say yes to your database, at least say yes to your low level offers. If they say yes to that, then it's fantastic with one step closer, right? You want to create offers that will convert by posting on social media. So again, don't have, don't invite people to your retreat that costs $5,000 from one post. More likely people are not gonna be ready to do that. Again, Olive Boy has been very naughty today, as you guys can see. He wants to go outside. He's such a naughty bugger. Look at him interrupting me while I'm doing my webinar. That's what happens when you work from home, right? Today, I decided to work from home. I am learning what to do with my Oli boy because <laughs> usually is with my team. Okay, so you want to create offers. You want to nurture your audience by posting on social media so that you can turn them into clients. Again, it's not going to happen. Like I don't do this one to go, I'm going to see how many people are going to buy today. I don't do that that way. I just more do this so that I can build relationship with people so that when they are ready to sign up with someone, they're going to think about me. Right. So you want to be in their mind. You want to be on top of mind. You want to be right there when they go, I have that problem. This person will be talking about that problem for a while. So obviously, if you're in business and you know that you want to grow your database or you want to uh, go one to many, you want to start to run workshops, retreats, seminars, online programs, you know that I'm your woman if you want to fill them. Right. This is what I've always been known for is, you know, getting bumps and seeds and knowing how to fill your events without spending millions of dollars on advertisement, then I'm your woman, you come to me and I'll teach you how to do that. Now, obviously, to get that, I will have to go back to basics on teaching you how to first have a really strong foundation, how to have a following, how to have engagement with people, how to have know that you are the expert in your field. Right? So once all of that's happening, then I'm going to be able to show you how to fill up your rooms. It's not going to happen otherwise, right? So 
you know your content, you need to step up as an expert in that one thing. And then you can actually talk about other stuff as well. But if you're not consistent, none of that is going to work, right? None of that is going to happen. If you're not consistent in nurturing them, so if you do get your database filled and you get a lot of people to say yes to you, but then you don't follow through, you don't keep nurturing them, you don't do things for people to go, oh my gosh, every time I read your email, every time I read your post, every time I do this, I get value. People are not going to say yes. So if you want to build trust first, and then you're going to be ups upselling to people, don't be salesy. Don't go straight into like, come to my retreat, come to my thing. It's too much, right? There is too much noise already on social media nowadays. We need to find a way around it for people to go, oh my gosh, I get so much value from watching you for free. Imagine what's going to happen when I actually start to pay you, right? So there's two different um, call to actions, right? The call to action that is like a soft call to action and a hard call to action. Again, it really depends on what level they are. If they're called lead, don't you try to give them a hard sell. They're not ready for it, right? But if they are warm or hot, then you can obviously be a little bit more upfront with saying, hey, legit, I can't help you until you actually sign up to the course because I wish I could teach you how to build a million dollar business in four hours. This is not going to happen, right? So the reality is you come in here, I will give you value, but then if you want more, you've got to sign up to the next level. So that's when you start to let people know what where they're at. So don't expect to do three posts on your social media and get clients. It's not going to happen that fast. It's not going to happen that easy. And if there's anyone out there that tell you that that's possible, just tell them to stop it. <laughs> to stop it. It's not true, right? Okay, so you guys, this is where a lot of people have this idea that I'll do A and I'll get result B. No. Social media doesn't work that way. You do A, you do B, you do C, you do D, E, F, G. You just keep doing and then eventually you're going to get results. It's just a matter of time. The result is guaranteed if you keep being consistent, if you keep showing up, if you keep doing the things that you need to do to get people to really think, oh my gosh, you are my number one expert. I'm going to go to you whenever I'm ready. So you guys, if you haven't checked out the FMM, which is the Facebook Marketing Mastery, which I created and it's incredible value, go and check it out. Apparently, a lot of people are going, it's amazing. Now also, we got workshops coming up. We've got one workshop this week and one workshop next week. One is online, one is in Brisbane. So go ahead and check it out. In this workshop, we show you this strategy in depth, right? We go in depth into show you what exactly you need to do on your social media, how to not waste time on your social media and know exactly what to do so you can get results a lot faster. I love to have you there. I love you to join me in my next workshops. And if not, I'll see you next Monday. If you haven't checked out my podcast, by the way, we have just reached 4,000 downloads. I am so excited about this. So if you haven't listened to my podcast, it's called Business Behind the Scene. And it's religiously every single week I record an episode. So go and check it out. Apparently, a lot of people are enjoying it. So if you haven't yet, go and have a listen. Thank you for listening and thank you for watching and I'll see you next week. Thank you so much.